Hilofre. Maslinitz is an Eastern European celebration that comes about seven weeks before Easter each year. And, uh, and during this celebration we like to eat uh, heart shaped pancakes that taste like waffles and are cooked on pork fat. So let's go, I will show you how to cook heart shaped pancakes. Let's go. So friends, to make pancakes, first of all we will need to make batter. And we will make our batter by liquefying our butter first. I use 200 grams of butter for this recipe, but don't worry, I will write it down in the description. Now take 6 eggs and dismember the yolk from the whites. And I already can see you typing the comment something like Mikhail, isn't that a little too much of the ingredients? And no, that's not too much, because these pancakes will be so tasty that you will eat half of them in the process of making them. Now, the recipe calls for 4 full tablespoons of sugar. However, I don't really like the imperial units that much, so I will weigh out the sugar so you would know how much exactly you need. Yeah, so that's 1 tablespoon of sugar is 18 grams. So 18 by 8 will be 144 grams of sugar. Now use your mixer to mix sugar with egg yolks. Mix it until it becomes almost white. Yeah, that's pretty much how it should look like. Now remember the butter, it's time to pour it in and mix it as well. Mmm, it looks nice. Now it's the time for 2 tablespoons of sour cream. Or in my case 4 tablespoons. And 1 tablespoon of sour cream is about 40 grams. So in total I will need 160 grams of sour cream. Also for my double amount of butter I will need 300 milliliters of milk. Now mix it all up once more. Now 3 teaspoons of baking powder. Or that is about 10 grams. And add some vanillin according to the taste. Or if you don't have it, you can use vanilla sugar. Now add exactly 400 grams of flour. And don't forget to add 2 pinches of salt. If you are curious, 1 pinch is about half a gram. Ok, that seems it. Now just mix your batter really well. And now the time has come for the egg whites. In a perfect scenario you would want to mix them as much as you can so they would start being stiff. And you would want to clean your mixer before you start mixing. Anyway, for me it's too late, so I will just continue doing that. And I am too lazy to continue, so I will use it in current state. Now carefully pour your egg whites into your batter. And mix the whites into the batter as well carefully. Final consistency should be something like this. And now it's time to fire up our Harchi pancake pan. Unfortunately that old piece of technology does not work with modern day induction cookers. If you don't feel like improvising, you can use waffle cooker as well. Now as I told you earlier, you need to cook these pancakes with pork fat. So take a piece of pork fat and put it on a fork. In the old days we used to determine the heat of the pan by trial and error. However. We have some smart technology these days. And as you can imagine, you need to heat up your pan to about 180 degrees. Celsius that is. Now open your pan and rub it all over with pork fat. Of course this step is quite rudimental. It's not necessary because we now have enough butter so the pancake wouldn't stick to the pan. However, in the old days it was necessary and now we just use the pork fat to give a little bit of saltiness to the crust of the pancake. Of course, as you can imagine, you need to put a little bit of butter into the pan and then hold it tight until it starts screaming. Now about after a half minute of cooking on one side, you need to flip it and cook it for another half minute. Of course the timing will depend, so you just need to try to find the right one. And now the hardest part, to take your pancake out of the pan. Hmm, this one actually turned out quite alright. Now, the secret of making these pancakes crispy is to put them on a towel right after you take them out of your pan. And after a few minutes you can start stacking them. 
And here comes the other one. Fall off, you bastard. Now repeat the process until you have no more batter left. And the result should be something like this. Oh, and you can't eat that pork fat, it's delicious. If you cooked them correctly, your cat will want these pancakes too. But how to know if you cooked them correctly? First, the appearance. The one on the right is clearly undercooked, while the one on the left is overcooked. Now, the undercooked will be too soft. Normally cooked will be a little crusty on the outside, but soft in the inside. And overcooked will be too fragile. But most importantly, you should cook them in a way so they would be tasty for you. Now, what about serving? Well, you serve them just like a big stack, nothing special. And you eat them by hand. Or maybe, if you have some fruit, jelly, you can put it on top. Now you may ask, Echil, but they don't look like a hair chipped pancakes, why do you call them that way? Well, here's the answer, just take a look. You take a piece of it, and it looks like a heart. Therefore, heart chipped pancakes. So there you have it friends, delicious pancakes for a wonderful celebration. Share this recipe with your friends so we could also cook some pancakes. And of course, subscribe to my channel to not miss any other good recipes. Good luck friends!